How do y'all move the Lex lives? Oh, are you kidding me? I think it's time we play a little better than wolves. Did you see that dang creeper? Just comes sprinting straight for me right as soon as I get started. Get out here where I can snip you. Where'd you go? Get over here. Dang creepers. Alright, so... Uh, I've been doing a little bit of work around here today. Not a lot. Getting a few things tucked away. Taking a suggestion, very good suggestion, of getting rid of any dirt in my ceilings. Uh, so the Endermen can't uh, open holes for the zombies to drop down in and attack me. Eh. <laughs> Since they are prone to do that. Dang, Endermen. Working with the zombies. Man, this is... field is getting huge. One of these days I'm going to learn how to... Uh, Automate this stuff. <laughs> uh, so I tried to grow the uh, the nether wart, you know, in my cave there, which did not work. And so I guess today I thought we would uh, wander over into the nether and plant me a nice little nether wart garden. Uh, I did not look up what goes into potions. I guess I should have done that, maybe. Uh, I'm not too worried about potions right now, though. Uh, maybe in a bit, but not right now. Uh, I thought today what I'd do is, uh, along with the nether wart, is I would try to get some more uh, machines in over there at my bellows, since I still have a lot of room. I'd like to get, um, I don't know, maybe a... a I need to get a cauldron. I think it's a cauldron. Uh, cooking pot. Uh, something. Hey, you can come with me too. Here. And uh, up over hibachi so I can start making glue. Because uh, then I can make like the cool bows and stuff. Oh, I should probably check you guys too. I just melted down all my tools and reforged them. <laughs> Uh, I didn't make it up to my enchanting table to enchant anything, but uh, I did melt down the tools. Hey, we got a couple of extra beans here. <laughs> that made me think of Bush's baked beans. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Those commercials. Uh, and we'll look at we'll look at what I got done in my place as soon as I uh, get done. Planting down my uh, nether wart here. Into the nether. Alright, now one way is... Okay, this is the... This is the way I want to go here. One way is my stairway, and the other way is... Where I died a bajillion times, but yeah. I thought I had a little clearing... Dug out over here. Two, three, four. We'll just get a little spot in here for some nice nether wart to grow. Like so. Alright, there you go, boys. You're at home now. Uh, what do I do with that nether wreck? I need to put you down and fill this hole in. Blump. That was easy enough. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I got that all filled in already. You know, I wonder if my sound is up way loud. It is. I thought you sounded loud. What are you doing? So I updated to uh, Java 8 today, too. Uh, since everybody's kind of suggestion suggesting that you do that. I don't know what I tried to do with that word there, but that was not right. Uh, and then uh, for my 
Uh, I guess 8 gives you better frame rates, I don't know. It seems a little laggy when I first logged in, but uh, it calmed down. I don't, wasn't having really frame rate problems anyway, so I don't know. Um, but uh, there is some other things I do uh, in Feed the or not Feed the Beast in Minecraft that uh, I can have some issues with. Um, Feed the Beast is one of them. I don't really have frame rate issues though. Uh, I just thought. Uh, if it's improving people's performance, uh, maybe I could use a little performance boost when I'm doing multiple things at the same time. Uh, here's one of the places dug out all the dirt and replaced it with uh, cobblestone slabs, actually. And uh, I have finished the upstairs tower here. I put a few more torches in as I came down as well. Make sure this is nice and bright up through here. And... Uh, we get to the top here. We got the uh, the nice enchanting room. Uh, and while I was out, I dug out some of the uh, dirt around. Not that I can really see past it a lot, but we have a nice observation deck here. Look out over everything. Although with the streaks in the glass, it's hard to see. Although that right there would make a good observation deck too. That mountain back over across through there. Uh, and then on this side, I went ahead and uh, finished off my my little balcony, and I decided to be cool if I uh, could actually look down. So I took the uh, rock and, and dirt out and uh, went ahead and put a glass floor in. So now I can see where all the spiders are making their noises, trying to get to my chickens down there. Stuff like that. I think it looks pretty good, actually out through here. I did get a lot of torches placed down through here. <laughs> uh, that's because sometimes when you die they spawn you down there and uh, I'd be spawning in the dark and then my guy would be like oh it's dark you know got the gloom trying to kill me. Not particularly pleasant. Alright I also got a lot of, um, I guess we could go down one more floor here. I got a lot of uh, leather actually tanned up now. Eleven tanned leather. I heard that. Somebody's coming to check out my handiwork. Ooh. I don't love my door open. But at least I had the bridge down. Uh, you know, that's gotten me a couple of times, having the uh, door open and the bridge up. And then the creepers come in and hang out. Mildly irritating. Alright, let's be honest. Extremely irritating. Uh, cocoa beans need to go in here. Hey, Enderman. I need your Ender Pearls. Where'd you go? Man, these guys do not act like Endermen act on some of the other versions of this game. I don't like the uh, teleporting away so quickly. Usually you can get a couple of hits in, but this uh, take off and run mentality they've got makes it a little difficult for me to bring them down. I guess maybe I just need some better better weapons. Uh, but I'd love to get some of those uh, Ender Spectacles that let you see where the mo- Oh, are you back? This isn't tall enough for you. Are you back? <laughs> Aww. Really? You take off before I give you a swing on you? Hanging out with the dogs. Alright. Let's get some paper in here. And... Some more books. I've pretty much used up all my books at this point. Uh, I did find a big stack of them. And, uh... Used it to make some... Some bookcases. But, uh... I, d I did raid that village for 
uh, bookcases, and I run up with 14 bookcases, so not too shabby. This uh, this will give me enough to get to the next enchantment level, right? Isn't it 8 where it uh, adds in the level 2 enchantments, something like that? Or you get a better chance at level 2 enchantments, something like that. Alright, let's see. Ugh, oh, are you kidding me? I hate knockback on a sword. That's getting melted down. I hate knockback on a sword. How many levels do I have? Uh, Alright, let's do ones on these, I guess. Some efficiency. Some efficiency. Some efficiency. I was hoping for a little uh, unbreaking. I think you're supposed to be able to get unbreaking, right? You just can't get the good ones. I have to get the Infernal Enchanter, I think it said, uh, to be able to use those ancient manuscripts that I... Oh, that was a finger twitch. Um, oh yeah, I was going to melt this sword down. Just say no to knockback. I like not back because it throws the uh, throws the mobs away, and if you're trying to kill something, then they get all flung all over everywhere. And if you're in the fight with a bunch of things, man, it really looks like mushrooms just exploded everywhere down here. But I think there's only like three extras. Uh, but if you're trying to fight multiple things, and it just keeps throwing your your enemies around uh, makes it really difficult to uh, uh, to get anything dead. Uh, and if you're fighting a skeleton, you don't want the skeleton thrown back, anyways. I hate fighting skeletons with knockback. Hate it. It's way too difficult. What was that noise? Am I hallucinating? I swear. I swear I just heard a really weird noise. That dog just tried to fling poop on me, too. <laughs> I saw that dog. That came flying right past my face. What was that weird noise, though? That was so bizarre. I don't know what that was. Alright. Well. I wanted to make another hibachi... Uh, and another, I think it's a cauldron. Uh, so I need some concentrated hellfire, some stone, some redstone and an element. The element is string redstone and blaze powder. So let's see. We need some string. Might as well make two of them since I'm going to get two blaze powder. I'm going to need a bone, I think, for the uh, cauldron too. And then... Uh, okay, I just said what I needed. I need redstone. Redstone. Got plenty of redstone. Redstone, string, and the blaze powder. So give me a blaze rod. And then I have to look what goes into the cauldron. Uh, I probably am going to have to go get some uh, netherrack too, because I don't think I have enough bars of... Uh... Oh, and a bucket of water. Yeah. You get the... I don't know if I have a bucket. Yeah, I do. You get the bucket of water back? I don't remember. Let's uh, see if we can sneak out here and get a bucket of water real quick. Oh, I see you pop out from behind the bushes. Oh, I don't even have a sword on me. I didn't bring a sword out with me. I do have an axe, though. Nope, you're not invited to the party. I have other things to do. Give me this stack of iron. Um, I actually don't think I have any concentrated hellfire. Uh, let me check in here. I might have some in here. 
Oh, I do. Right here. Eight. Awesome. Never mind. I got everything I need right now. Sweet. Uh, let me go down here, make my elements. Oh, I need to make a couple of... Um, let's see. Redstone, string, and... Blaze powder. Uh, I need to make some levers yet. So as soon as we get our elements here, I'll go make a couple of levers. Alright. Why did I make... Oh, because I had two... I was like, I don't need two hibachis. I need two... Um, I don't need two hibachis. I don't need two anything. I don't know why I just said I need two. Uh, I do need a piece of cobblestone, though. Cobblestone. Cobblestone. Shaft. Redstone. Get me a lever. And then I need... Uh, ooh. Is my stone stone in here or out here? I might not have any. I should throw a thing of stone in my cauldron and see if that'll cook up in there. It probably will. It did glass. And it'd be better just to have a whole stack of it cooking up than waiting around. Here, do me a favor and cook this up. Oh, yeah. And make yourself a sword while you're at it there, buddy. Okay, now, one, two... Uh... Don't burn up on me, alright? Oh, wait, I'm not ready for that. I need stone, don't I? I was going to put my hibachi down. I don't have a hibachi yet. Bucket of water. A stick. And iron. Alright. Now I can make some... Well, when I get my hibachi under here. I can make some glue. That's my plan. Uh, yep, waiting on stone. That's going to take me a little bit, waiting on the stone. <laughs> oh, my big, big contraption. Oh, peckish, peckish. Where's mistakes? There they are. Mmm, look at me eat this meat right in front of you guys. You got nothing. Who's hungry? Whoa. Really? I... Somebody growling at me? I just fed you. Okay, speaking of feeding, I also grabbed a bunch of wheat to feed you guys. C come on, make me some baby cows and some baby pigs. Uh oh. Somehow we missed a pig. There you are. That's right. You guys gotta keep me fed up. Oh, I didn't bring any seeds for you guys. Sorry. I mean, I've got some mommy, but I've got eight chickens in there, so... I can't quite get in there and feed them with the... Uh, 
six seeds I have. Beautiful. All right, Sand, you can go back in there now. I've been making up glass. Um, I know I have some panes here, and there's some glass. That was for my uh, glassed-in balcony up there. I just pointed up, because you guys can see that. Those dogs are already giving me dung. I'm really surprised. Usually it takes forever. Or they're just growling for some reason. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Concentrated Hellfire. And an element. And stone. And I already forgot what goes into a hibachi. Great. Goes into a hibachi? Oh yeah, a piece of redstone. Piece of the redstone. Redstone. Element. Hellfire. Stone. There we go. And then why don't you take this element. I think that's the only special thing I've got that would go in there. Um, I'm actually going to come over here and grab these saddles. I think you can melt the saddles down into glue and that's why I was keeping them. Uh, if you can't melt them down into glue, then there was no reason for me to keep them, because I'm not going to ride a pig. Hibachi? Uh, oh, I kind of need to get down here. And lever. <laughs> nice. Alright. Make me some glue. Yeah, that's right. Make me that glue. Uh, now, I didn't uh, I didn't bring my cauldron from down below because I still want to be able to, uh, you know, cook up my, my tanned leather. And I'm afraid that I won't be here to watch it when I throw it in. And so I didn't want it to turn into glue. So... <laughs> I thought it'd be better to have two, two cauldrons. Uh, what's crazy is I still have room for another three hibachis on either side of this, which is just crazy. I don't know what to do with all that. Um, I was thinking of maybe seeing about doing something with the uh, with the kiln. Um, and another another uh, bellows and see if I could like sit the kiln up so that I could feed in like three of them at once and then like move the, this kiln back a space and just have three kilns back there and then they could blow all the stuff out into um, like a hopper or something because I did see that bellows is supposed to be able to blow items when it puffs like that, so um, I don't know if that's something I should sit up or not, but I'm thinking so, and uh, and then that way, like, I put my stuff in there, although I don't know if it's gonna blow this stuff out I put in there to cook or not is an issue. Hmm. Something to try, though, in the future. I've got glue, man. All right, let's see. What can we do with glue? Clear. I know there's the the bow. I was looking at the bow. That's not how you spell glue. Glue does not start with a C. Glue. All right. We can make a screw pump. All right. That's the transfer water, I think. A barrel. Interesting. I don't know what a barrel's for. Uh, wooden blades. Haft, that's for the better uh, tools. Uh, there's the composite bow I want to make. I'm going to do that now, actually. Um, yeah, I know how to make glue. Let me exp expand this out. Lots of recipes on how to make glue. Uh, but it only makes a few things, according to this list. So, 
Uh, screw pump. I might make one of these eventually. I don't really have a reason yet to move water anywhere. That's what a screw pump does, to my understanding. Uh, I don't know what a barrel does, but I guess we could make one of those. Uh, and a composite bow. I am definitely going to make the composite bow. So the composite bow was three bones. That's not three. Three bones. Uh, I saw some string in there, and I already forgot what else was in there. Three bones of string, two moldings, or three moldings, and glue. All right, and then the barrel is just eight moldings, right, and glue. So let's go make some moldings. I think I've got plenty of wood on me, so might have some moldings actually. Do I have some moldings? Uh, I've got one molding. All right. Well, that's not going to cut it. Um, I do already have some s slabs, though. But let's just go ahead and make them. I mean, uh, this will make two slabs. We'll turn into four moldings, right? Yeah. All right. And then the slabs to get me my moldings for barrel. And then I'm going to have to look up what a barrel does. I mean, I know what a barrel does, but I don't know what a barrel does in the context of this game. Oh, yeah, you're cooking up glass and stone. You've got a bunch of stuff you could be grinding. Go ahead and grind. I'll go out in the other room away from the noise. All right. Uh... Bone, bone, bone. Molding, molding, molding. String. Glue and glue. Ha ha! Composite bow. Ooh, it looks cool. Uh, do I have any arrows? Uh, it won't shoot rotted arrows. They're too weak. But I thought I had some normal arrows. Yeah, right there. Uh, where's a bad guy when you need one? I want to see this thing in action. Anybody hanging out here behind here with the chickens? Yeah, right there. Oh. <laughs> what is up with that? Oh, I'm such a bad aim. Oh, and then he stops moving. That's right. Uh, this is supposed to shoot the arrows faster, too. Uh, which I thought might be kind of cool for fighting ghasts, for sure. But I am not going to wander over to fight ghasts just yet. But that's pretty awesome. Composite bow. And then I want to make a barrel. Alright, and so that's a piece of glue. And eight moldings. And now I got a couple of barrels. So. Like, I don't know what they do. What's a barrel do for me? Um, can I put water in it? Is that what a barrel is for? Will it fill up with rain if I put it on the roof? I have a couple of uh, modded Minecraft I play where you put barrels out. And when it rains, they fill up with water. But maybe maybe this stores water since you can't s move uh, source blocks. Oh crap! That didn't work. I'm I'm finding my doubts as to what a barrel does. Uh, can I store stuff in it? Like I can't right click on it. Shift click? Do I throw it at it? 
weird. Is it just for show? I mean, that's fine, too. I've got nothing wrong with decorative items. Or nothing against decorative items. Hmm. Well. You know, I don't know what a vase here does either, so. Uh, I know the urn. I've got to get some more soul sand and stuff so we can make some soul urns eventually. But I need, uh, I think I need end stuff to be able to do the uh, soul forge stuff. So. I was going to grab that and then decided against it. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know. It was fun for me anyways. Get uh, some glue going, get the hibachi going. Get a couple more books on my enchanting table. Let's go enchant the sword real quick. And uh, see what we can get. Smite! Awesome! Now we're talking... I think my last one had Bane of Arthropods on it. Um, but Smite, yeah. Smite is uh, extra damage to the undead. Uh, I like Smite or Sharpness. Uh, Smite is more powerful. So, like, uh, because it's, it's focused, it does more damage than Sharpness. Um, and so you get... Bonus damage against the undead. Just undead, like skeletons and those guys. And, uh, zombies. And, uh, and so it does, like, I don't remember. So, like, two levels for smite and one level for sharpness. Um, or one and a half levels for smite and one level for sharpness. Something like that. Um, because it doesn't affect other things like the cows and the pigs and the creepers. Um. But that's an excellent enchant to get, for sure. Alright, well, I'm going to call it here, so click like if you like, subscribe to be sure and catch the next one. I will talk to you later.